Football Manager 2023 is out and today I have the start of our beta save. So if you are new around here, first and foremost, a warm welcome. I'm Melvin. I'll be uploading daily Football Manager content. So please do click on the subscribe the button down below. All right, so today we'll be kicking off with my favorite team, Liverpool. They are currently struggling with injuries, which is reflected badly on their form and the table standing, as you guys know. Okay, so I think all of us know what's the problem. Liverpool's transfer strategy. We didn't sign proper players, especially in the midfield. And here in FM, we'll be trying to fix that. With this save, the aim will be to be the best team in England and Europe and maybe add into Liverpool's recent year's success. So without further ado, let's get into things today. All right, so Mohamed Salah is going to be our key player. He has been an important part of Liverpool's team and success for a few years right now. All right, so he has won three golden boots. I'll be expecting him to score most of the goals this season, obviously. And one more player that will be relying on goals apart from Salah is going to be David Nunes. Alright, so he has been a new signing by Liverpool this season. Alright, he came in at a very big price tag and so far he hasn't lived up to the expectation yet. Let's see if David Nunes will be able to perform in Football Manager for us. Alright, so let's look at the tactic. Okay, so I'll, I'm going to be starting with a 4-3-3 Gagan Press. Okay, so in the previous football managers, Gagan Press has actually worked quite well. And this is the current formation that Liverpool are playing as well. So I'm not going to be changing too much of it. Okay, so let's see if it actually works this year. Okay, so for goalkeeper, obviously, we're going to be starting Allison. Okay, whenever he's fit. He's currently injured for three to six weeks. So hopefully, he's going to be fit at the start of the season. Alright, so Virgil Wenda is going to be one of the central defender. So for the second central defender, right, I'm actually torn between Joel Matip and Konate. I think I'll be starting Matip first for the start of the season. And maybe as the season goes by, we will see, you know, if Matip is able to, you know, perform better than Konate. Because as you know, Matip is actually 30 years old and Konate is only 23, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so for left back, it's going to be Andrew Robertson. All right. So for the right back. Okay. So this has been a, you know, ongoing problem for Liverpool right now. Okay. So people are going to think that I'm crazy. But, but, okay. I think Trent Alexander-Arnold is better to play as a midfield. What do you think? I think him on central midfield on attack, right? I think he is going to be able to do a better job than playing as a right back for us. Let me know in the comment, what do you think? Uh, what do you guys think? Is he going to be better suited, you know, in midfield? And if you are playing him in midfield, what role are you going to play him? Okay, or should I just stick him at the right back? Let me know in the comment, guys. All right, so for the defensive midfielder, obviously, we're going to go for Fabinho. All right, he's going to be playing as a deep, deep, deep lying playmaker on defense. Okay, so as you can see over here, he's actually well suited to play that. You know, he has a vision of 13, passing of 15. I think it's, it is good enough. So for the third central midfielder in our team, Nabi Keita and Thiago. All right, I'm going to go for Thiago. Alright, so I'm actually thinking of selling Nabi Keta, you know, at this transfer window because, you know, he has been injury prone and he has been kicking up a fuss of leaving, you know, Liverpool in real life. So, yeah, I think he can just leave if he wants to. So, for Thiago, right, I will be playing him as a Mazala on support. Okay, I think he can actually do a good job as a Mazala in our team. Okay. So let's change that. Salah on support. All right. So so for the right wing, obviously we're gonna be starting with Salah. So for the left wing, we'll be starting Luis Diaz. Okay. So there's gonna be um, of course uh, there's gonna be comparison between Luis Diaz and Yota. Let's find him. 
Okay, so uh, Diogo Jota is currently injured, so it actually makes makes things easier for me right now. So I'm going to be starting Luis Diaz first. So so if you can actually see at the polygon over here, right, Luis Diaz and Diogo Jota, they are actually pretty similar, pretty similar. Okay, uh, Diaz is more technical. Okay, while Diogo Jota is better mentally and he's good in air. All right, so. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be between who is performing better whenever they come on to play. Okay, so for our striker, I'm gonna be starting with Darwin Nunes first. Okay, as a pressing forward, as you can see over here, he has a good work rate. His his aggression is sixteen as well, so I think he will do a good job as a pressing forward on attack. If he's not performing, we obviously have R Roberto Firmino to come in, you know, to be a backup for him. So at this transfer window, my plan is going to be getting a midfielder. Getting a midfielder. I'm planning to sell Nabi Keita. You know, I'm going to put him on transfer list and see if and hey, if there's anyone, you know, going to sign me. If we, if we manage to sell him, I'm going to be getting another midfielder. I'm not going to be particularly looking for a midfielder that can actually, you know, uh, start immediately. I'm going to be looking for someone who can actually grow at the back, you know, coming in as a sub, you know, playing as a backup to either Thiago or Alexander Arnold. All right. And then see how it goes. So for the right back, we will, I'll be looking to, you know, sign a first team player. That is one thing. And uh, since Matip, you know, he's aging, he's 30 years old now, you know, so if the right offer comes for him, I'll be looking to sell him and maybe get a player that can actually be a backup to Wendai, Konate and Joe Gomez. Alright, so let's look at the squad planner. Squad planner has been a new addition to football manager this season. So in my opinion, squad planner is actually a very neat way for us to actually, you know, plan ahead our team, you know, for not only the current season, we can actually plan ahead for the next three seasons you know so this is actually pretty neat. If, if you can see over here you know when i click on the current season we actually have four goalkeepers right and when i click on the next season we only have two why because adrian and oscar kelly they are they they have their contract expiring at the end of this season so this is actually pretty neat. you can actually see you know how your squad is going to look like you know in the next season and the season after that you know so the my main objective will be to use this um, squad planner to create a new focus we are going to create a new focus for a new right back so since i'm looking for a starting right back right so i'm going to be finding for someone with a current ability of three stars and a potential ability of five star you know maximum so let's see uh, gonna look for transfer age between i'm not gonna i think it's gonna be 15 to 25 okay areas um hmm. i'm not gonna choose any areas let's see who do they bring on okay i'm gonna do this as an ongoing ongoing focus in terms of leadership i don't think there's gonna be any issue in the near future as we actually have very highly influential players you know playing in Liverpool as such you know Jordan Henderson is there Mo Salah James Milner Allison, Roberto Firmino Alexander Arnold we even have Van Dyke you know all these players you know they actually have good leadership skills so even even if in this season we lose maybe Jordan Henderson or James Milner we st we still gonna have Mo Salah Van Dyke you know stepping up to be the leaders in the dressing room so I think that's not going to be a much issue, you know, that we need to really sort out immediately. So I think that should be good. Let's look at the finances. Let's see what transfer budget do we still have left. We actually have 48 million. I think that is quite good. If we, if I'm able to, you know, maybe sell Nabi Keita or Oxalate Chamberlain or someone like that, I think we will be able to, you know, uh, save enough transfer fund to actually do some business quite good business in this transfer window we actually even have um around if i'm not mistaken around 15 millions of uh, payroll budget so i think 
yeah, he should be good. We'll be able to do some good business uh, this season. Okay, so let's look at our boss expectation. All right, let's look at our supporter profile first. Okay, so this is also a new addition this year in Football Manager. So as you can see over here, this is the supporter profile of Liu Pu. Okay, so the influence that the supporters have on the board is quite high. As you guys know in the real life, Liu Pu supporters are really, really hardcore fans. Okay, all right. So you can see over here, hardcore fans, we have 7%. The core is 30%. So I really hope this is going to be dynamic. We'll be able to see some changes, you know, as we progress through the season, you know, if the hardcore fans are going to grow or is it going to decrease? Let's see how is it going to be if the casual, you know, the casual, the 18%, you know, of the casual fans are going to, you know, turn into maybe, you know, core core part of the supporters or maybe hard cause we don't know all right so the expectation that our supporters have right they want us to win the premier uh the premier league this season become the most reputable team in england develop players using the club youth system i think that shouldn't be a problem play a, play attacking soccer entertaining soccer we are we are going to be playing gegen press so i think that shouldn't be a problem and most importantly they want us to finish above Everton, Man United and Chelsea in the league. Okay. So I think if we are able to win the league, obviously we are going to finish above every one of them. So I think it should be okay. All right. So let's look at our board expectation for this season as well. So the board expectation is actually um, better than the, you know, our supporters uh, expectation because they just want us to qualify for the Champions League. Uh, I think which is going to be achievable by Liverpool. Okay, challenge for the FA Cup. Be competitive in the Community Shield. Yeah, we have the Community Shield at the as the first game of our season. All right. Uh, challenge for the Champions League. Be competitive in Carabao Cup. Work towards being self self sustainable. Okay, I think this should be okay. All right. So they want us to play attacking soccer as well. Develop players. This is almost the same as our. Okay, so I'm just going to confirm this. Alright. I think I'm not going to be changing too much. You know, I'm just going to accept it. Alright, so for the staff as well, let's look at our staff quality. Okay, so in terms of the coaching staff, we actually have the highest average in Premier League in almost everything except for our tactical. So I think, but this is also above average, so it's actually quite good. Um, all of our staff quality, they are actually above average compared to the other clubs um, in England. So what am I going to do is I'm going to be still, you know, looking to improve our staff. For example, our physio, you know, maybe our sports scientists, our scoutings, you know, our scouts. So yeah, I'll be doing that at the back, uh, the backstage. Okay, so as you guys know, this year is the World Cup season. We are, we are going to have a Winter World Cup. So there's going to be a lot of changes in terms of the schedule, you know, of our team. Okay, so you can see over here, it's, it's going to be a very jam-packed season. Okay, because, uh, because of the winter break that we'll be having for the World Cup. Alright, so for the start of the season, obviously we are going to have the Community Shield against Man City. Okay, so I think uh, that will be the first match that we'll be playing. Okay live all right so after that august you know as you can see over here our start of the premier league season is also going to be quite hard we have arsenal which is doing really well real life under ateta this season okay let's see if they can actually win the league all right so we have west ham okay it's going to be a very jam-packed season rotation is going to be very very crucial okay so that's why i'm going to be doing some wheeling and dealing, you know, trying to get a lot more depth into the squad. As you guys know, we actually have five subs this season, you know, in the Premier League. So, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be quite crucial for us to have a good depth of the squad, you know, and then use the five sub to actually develop our young players. So, I think that is a good, good thing that they are changing into the five subs. Alright, so guys, if you have enjoyed the video, please drop a like and do subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.